How's it going everybody? So today I'm talking a little bit about rhythmic articulation on the trombone. So for a little background information on this, Pasquale Bona has a book entitled Rhythmic Articulation that was originally intended for vocalists to work on increasingly complex rhythms. So Norman Bolter, who was former trombonist with the Boston Symphony Orchestra and former principal trombonist with the Boston Pops Orchestra and currently teaches at the New England Conservatory, took this book and repurposed it for the trombone so that one can work on evenness of sound with any articulation that might arise, any rhythm, dynamic, uh, throughout the entire range of the instrument. And I learned about this method through one of his students, Ross Holcomb, who was former trombonist of the Spokane Symphony Orchestra and is currently principal trombonist with the Florida Orchestra. Now, this method is a way to help with achieving uh, consistent articulation for orchestral performance. Now, although this book is available in bass clef, I'm going to be using the treble clef version and reading it in tenor clef, so I'm going to be adding two flats. You can also uh, transpose down to bass clef by adding three flats. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start with exercise number 45, which when transposed to tenor clef is actually in B flat major. So since there aren't any articulation markings on this, you can go ahead and add your own, but I'd say the main focus of this should be marcato since it's one of the articulation types that's the hardest to get a grasp of. A lot of us are pretty good at playing legato, staccato, even tenuto, but marcato is one of the tricky ones. So with this exercise, you're going to want a clear front to the note. You don't want it to be pecky and you're gonna want enough length on the note. Think about blocks or bricks. And in between each note, you're gonna want a sliver of daylight for clarity and cleanliness. So another big goal of this method is to play as reliably as if playing a piano or keyboard in terms of the front of the note and the intonation and with ease of playing regardless of the register, the interval, the rhythm, etc. Also keep in mind that Norman Bolter never meant for this to make your playing dry and boring. So don't lose sight of your musicality and playing with feeling. Okay, so that's everything for this video. If you found it useful or interesting, please like it and share it and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them down below in the comment section. And uh, until next time, everyone, peace.